Hello, everybody. My name is Gary Potter. Welcome back to another video today in this video. We are back playing Wizard 101. And today, guys, we have the Mirage Raiders bundle. I have already recorded this video, unfortunately, but <laughs> being the really smart human person that I am, I forgot to not only record my voice, but also record the game audio. So... I already opened everything, as we can see. I don't have it, because I opened it, and I already did the entire video, which I'm kind of frustrated about, because it was like an hour-long video. As I was saying, today we are doing that. It was Bundle of Palooza recently, and I got the bundle when it was Bundle of Palooza. <laughs> it's not anymore, so unfortunately, you cannot get it until the next Bundle of Palooza, or if they come out with throwback Thursdays of the Mirage Raiders bundle or something. Let's just start with the pet, because that one is my favorite, to, or that's what I usually always start with. So, we have the Sultan's Monkey. This is one of the- why am I lagging? I don't understand why I'm lagging. This is one of the cutest pets I've ever seen. Look how cute he is. He's adorable. The AFK animations, I honestly don't know if any of the... Okay, there's one of them. I don't know if they have underwater animations. Or if they do, then it's the exact same. Because I already tried, so I'm not going to do it again. Just so you know. So now we have the Desert Racer, which gives a 40% speed boost thingy. And 2% power pit chance. Which is, or two per, yeah, two, two percent power of chance. Which is, in, it's weird. It's cool. I don't, I don't like it. It's not one of my favorite mounts. I like the colors. The colors are very pretty together. However, it's not, it's not my favorite mount. I don't, I don't like the look of the mount itself. The colors, however, are gorgeous. Yeah. So, there's not, there's not much that is special about the animations. I feel like they could have done a lot better than what they did, but it's okay. So now we have- I'm sorry that I'm rushing through this. I'm not trying to, but I, I just don't want to re-record this video. Uh, also, we still do have other things to look at, but those were the monkey, so the pet, and the mount. Now let's do the clothes stuff. It's not one of my favorites. It looks like Crocotopia-type gear. It doesn't look the worst, and also it doesn't have the worst stats. I redeemed it for 120. The critical is not bad at all. It's obviously not the best, but it's not bad. And it gives damage, which is not all things give you that. Uh, this one's also pretty interesting. This could be a jade robe, not better than the jade robe or other healing gear, like the spooky carnival gear. But it does give rebirth, resist, and outgoing, and ingo- and incoming and block as well, so it's not that bad, to be honest. Uh, the boots also are not the worst in the world. Once again, not the best either, but they're decent. They're not bad. None of the bundle gear is bad, and now we have the Maycast, uh, Shift Mithria, or Mithria. I don't know. Ten pips, though. Jeez. Five pierce, 47 block, and 61 crit, and then obviously one it looks really cool. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. The entire reason I bought this bundle specifically, I don't remember what I was debating a, debating between, but this one was one of them because of the staff alone. The staff alone looks phenomenal. You can stitch it with anything and it will look amazing. Let's go. I want to see if you can actually dye the gear. I didn't check that before. I wish I would have, but I didn't. So, let's go check that really fast. I want to see if you can- don't, I don't think you can. I don't think you can dye anyone. But, it'd be cool if you could. So, you can dye the headpiece and the other gear. I don't know what I would dye it to. I'm gonna keep it what it is, because I'm not gonna wear this. But you can dye that. Uh, can you dye the mount? You can't. That one's unfortunate. Why does the audio sound so echoey? So this is really- I love the wand. The staff itself is the entire reason that I bought this bundle. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. So, the final thing that we need to look at is the house. We looked at, uh, all of the out- We looked at the outfits, we looked at the staff, we looked at the pet, and we looked at the mount. Now we have the house. So, the nomads camp. Uh, I already did all of this. Normally, what I do at the end of these videos is I will hang the, uh, staff or wand up. I'll put the pet in a house, I'll put the mount in a house, and I will create a teleporter between my death house, which is like the main central hub, and the house that we just got. 
I already did all of that stuff because I already recorded the video. But it's okay. We can still look around. I know all of the secrets. So hopefully this video won't be as long. But it is still amazing. So you would start out here. This is where you would start out uh, as the world gate. I just had to set it there because you can't put the portal up here. Which is really unfortunate because it would have been good to put one here and then on the other side. But it's okay. The Dromo Merchant. I'm not even kidding you guys. I'm going to do this. The first time that I got or the first time that I talked to this person i got amber i'm not even kidding i'm not joking you guys it was insane i was not expecting that i don't know if it was super super rare or if it was just something but it was so crazy to have got that so here is the pvp arena it's there's nothing special it's a pvp arena i love this so the area around if you guys don't know i don't hate i hate dry things I absolutely despise dry climates, and I need water around me at all times because I just hate it. But I love Mirage. Mirage is such a good world. I love the trees. I love the oasis. I love all of it. And the rock formations, it looks like something very familiar to me. All of these rock formations seem very, very familiar, and I, they're, it feels homely, if that makes sense. Let's just go around the top edge really fast. So this is really, really cute. It's on a rock, but then it's just a bridge across. I thought that was so cool. There's a bunch of tents which count as different houses. Uh, they're all connected into one. So the item count, that is what what I was trying to say. That, it, that counts as all of them. We have a rope going down. I, I'm glad that you had to tell me that it's going down. Because it's definitely not going up. Look at this. And then it, there's the... That is so pretty. I did not notice that before. I didn't look over this. I just thought, oh, it's the sands of time. No, that is so pretty. There's literally a mirage in the... Well, no, not really. It's not really a mirage. But do you know, it's heat waves. The heat waves. That's so cool. I love that. I think there are new fish in here. Well, not really new fish. But there are fish that you can only get in this house. Which is really, really cool. And there's two little areas for you to go fishing in. Isn't that cute? I love this watery area. Up here is just where the rope going down was. So right there. And then this will head out to the other side of where the rope is. So right there. If we go down into the rope, there's just a little... There's an area. This is a cute area. I actually, I don't think I've ever checked the walls in this room. So let's just check those really fast. Yeah, there's no secrets in this room. However, this just leads us out to that crack that you guys saw. So that's really... I don't know what that, what that area would be used for. But it's, it's fun. Can we get up here? No. Fine. We have to go around all the way just so I can show you guys things. Ugh, so obnoxious. This is just a cute little roundabout, roundy outy thingy. I don't know where I was going with that, but you get it. And there's just a big area here. What you would use it for is up to you guys. I don't know. It's here. And then there's a secret wall, which leads out to the oasis right there. We need to go in this tunnel, though. We need to explore. Oh, yeah. This just leads to the to the back of this blue tent, which is just up from the... Yeah, you get it. Okay. We're going to head into the tents really fast. I'll show you them. There's nothing special about any of them. Most of them are the same. There are a few that are different. But each one has a lamp. And each one has different colors. It's not like there's something big. It's not Most of the tents look the exact same. Except that one over there. And I think that might be it. All of the rest look the exact same. It's okay. Because there's a lamp. Which we will check out towards the end. So just, just keep watching. If you want to see what is in the beautiful lamp. I'm going to check the rest of these houses really fast. Before we go into that red one. Because that red one is more special than the rest. But yeah, as I was saying, there's nothing really special about any of these places. They're all the exact same. There's just a tent and then some stairs leading up into a little, a little canopy. I don't know if that's the right word, but a little area. Nothing in the red one. 
as usual. And I think there's only one more that we have to chat, which is the blue one over here before we get to go into the red one, which is extra special. And also I found that there is no secret hidey holes in any of these houses. I checked every single wall around the entire place and usually there's a secret wall outside and inside and we saw the one outside which was over there by the little oasis we didn't see the i couldn't find one inside so i don't know if there is one or if there isn't but it just seemed like there wasn't so now we can go into the red one which is special in two ways so not only is there a ladder leading up which is really really cute but also there's a little this thing whatever it's called a little cave down into a bigger room so i'm guessing this would be the main tent if you were going to use any of them. And then the ladder leads up to another really, really big area, which just leads out into the little bridge. So this bridge right here to the PVP arena, that's where that leads. So all of the tents are almost the exact same except this last one, which is different. However, every single tent gets connected up with this middle ground, which is so cute. I'm not going to spoil any of Mirage's storyline, but you would kind of understand this because this is so amazing. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. I know I said that twice, but it's okay. So the bank is in this big room or the main room. And then we have each one leading to different tents. So I'm not going to go through them because you already saw them. Each tent is the same. Or each tent is different in its own way. That's the one that we just came out of. But each one has that lamp, which just leads to the same place here. But this one has a seventh area, which just leads down here. There's no point to it. I don't even know if you can place anything here. You can. You can place a few things around here. There's nothing special, though. You can't press X. You can't. It's just a little hangout area. It's cute. It's fun. It's for everyone to enjoy. I think that's everything. That might be everything that this bundle has to offer. Unfortunately, I'm sorry that this video was so short, if it is. It probably is, depending on how I edit it. As I was saying, I had already recorded this video, and there was no audio for the game or for my mic. So I couldn't salvage it in any way. So... Unfortunately, I have to re-record it, which is a little less high energy. Even though I did record this video a little later, I waited maybe... I did wait, I want to say, two, maybe three weeks to finish recording this video or to re-record it. Because I wanted things to not be so, so fresh in my mind. Kind of upset that the mannequin looks better than I do. But it's, it's totally fine. It is okay. A-okay. But as I was saying earlier, how I go around and place the mount and items and everything. I'm gonna do that now just to drag the video on a tiny bit longer. Just so that it's not two minutes long. And I just do this always. You guys should always watch to the end though because... Who knows? Maybe I'll give a maybe I'll do a giveaway. I'm not going to do a giveaway. Please don't ask me to do giveaways. Somebody did and I don't hate you for this. By the way, I love you and I'm not singling you out because you're a gorgeous being, but I'm just saying I don't have money to do giveaways. So, please don't ask. <laughs> I wish I had money. If you guys subscribe, maybe one day I will be able to do giveaways. So, as I was saying, you guys should press that big red subscribe button. If we can hit, I'm not going to hit a subscriber. I'm not going to say hit a specific subscriber goal or whatever. But the more subscribers we get and the quicker we get them, maybe I will do a giveaway. Or it's a very, very high chance that I will do a bundle giveaway or a giveaway of something else. So just subscribe. Press that subscribe button and you guys could be eligible to to win to get into the to be eligible for the giveaway however that is this entire bundle so if you guys did enjoy please tell me what your favorite part was down in the comments as i was saying subscribe giveaways do that big red subscribe button press it hit it with your nose smack it with your face do uh, do everything press that like button if you enjoyed go follow me on my social medias that might be also a part of the giveaway so make sure you do that as well anyways i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys later bye guys